Morgan, and I wanted to talk about a few reasons off the top of my head why I think that Spike Cohen is awesome. And one, uh, like one of the reasons that I think Spike is really, really, really cool is he has, like, he has, like, um, an underlying medical condition that, like, deeply impacts his life, and yet he's still, he's still actively out there trying to live his life. He's still trying to make the world a better place, even though he has, like, what's the word, like, so many more struggles and challenges that he faces than a lot of Americans face. Like, he's out there still trying the best within, within his own limitations to make the world a better place. Like, I just, I admire that. I want, like, as someone who faces a lot of, like, disability-related challenges myself, I'm like, he is an amazing role model. Like, I look up to him. I want to be like Spike Cohen. I want to be like him. I want to be like him. Like, he's awesome. And he's someone who's, like, I feel like he looks at the world through a place of, of love and happiness and positivity. Like, he sees immense challenges and struggles that people face. And he's still... Like, he, he doesn't allow himself to get trapped within hate. Like, he he doesn't go like, you must be this and we... He's like, what's the word? Like, he's more, like, sarcastic and humorous. Like, he tries, like, he'll point, he'll, if something's, like, really messed up, like, sometimes he'll be humorous about it. He'll find ways to make the issue, like, less fist fighty and more, like, here's the issue, how do we address this, how do we make people see this, as see this for what it is, like, I love that, like, he isn't someone who goes around, like, resorting to calling people names all the time, or just being like, you voted for so-and-so, so you're evil, he's like, instead, he's like, how do we reach people of different political parties, and how do we get people to come together on, the, on issues that are important, like, I really love that, in a world where, like, it, like, the political t tensions in my country, like, in the, in the United States, that's where I live, um, it's, like, to me, it feels like they're, like, they're really, really bad and continuing to get worse, and in a world where so many people are escalating, it feels like Spike's, like, trying to de-escalate. He's trying to make the world like, a more peaceful place with more open dialogue and stuff, and I really admire that about him. <laughs> like, he doesn't just resort to, you think such and such, so you must be evil and we can no longer associate with you at all. Like, he tries to bring people, bring people back, tries to get people to talk to each other. Like, he, <sighs> I love it. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> it's just, he's really cool. Like, I think that's a really, positive thing like he I feel like he legitimately is trying to like make the world more peaceful instead of poking the bear as the like that's a saying for like stoking tensions or trying to make things worse um and also I love to like he posts like wholesome sabbath memes a lot like he'll he he's openly like he has a religion and he shares that with the world but he's not one of those people who it's like, if you believe this, uh, sorry, I, I believe this, so you all must believe this, exactly what I believe. <laughs> like, I love how he, like, he shares his beliefs without, like, trying to force other people to, like, convert or die. Like, sometimes I feel like, like, a lot of people still have that mentality of, like, you have to believe exactly the same thing I believe or else, like, or else, like, I don't know, like, I like how he's willing to accept that other people are, like, sometimes other people believe other things than him, and I love to, like, I remember recently, like, really recently, he's talked about, like, trying to, like, trying to work with or help a church, um, that was trying to help homeless people, but is, been running into issues like um but he's he's willing to work with people who are like of different beliefs than him like he's jewish but he's still like he'll, he'll be friends with christians and stuff i love how like i love that like i love this willingness to like work together and see each other as human beings even if we are different in some way like i love how he's like not like 
super like you have to believe the same thing as I do (laughs) like I love that I wish that the world had more of that like because like I live like I live in a country where one of our founding ideals was that we're supposed to have like freedom of religion and stuff so I I love the idea that there can be people of all different religions who can coexist and stuff like I really love that (laughs) um and other things that I like about like, or that I like and admire and think are really awesome about him is, like, he has a wife named, named Tasha, and, like, sometimes people will joke and call Spike, like, Tasha's husband, and it's, like, I love it, like, he and his wife seem to have, like, a really super healthy relationship where, like, they just seem like they're willing to, like, joke with each other but still be respectful of one another, like, and it feels like she's someone who's supportive in, in his life and stuff. Like, it feels like he has a healthy relationship. And I'm like, I love that. There need to be more role models in society of, like, healthy marriages and healthy relationships. Like, it seems like, like, I love that. I love how he's modeling how to be a respectful human being who treats women with respect. Like, I love that. <laughs> I wish that more, like, more people who are in positions of power were, like, <sighs> What's the word, like, we're willing, like, I love how, because usually, like, something, like, some, oftentimes, like, throughout history, women have been called, like, oh, you're such and such wife, such and such as wife, but he's over here being, like, you're, you're so-and-so's husband, like, flipping this idea of what power dynamics have to be on its head. Like, I love how he's showing, like, he's just, I feel like that's so respectful and like treats women as equals and stuff and I really love that like I love how he like treats his wife as an equal and it really sucks that like and like the thing about like that I have to be like I love this about this and like like it's something that's abnormal and like it's it really sucks sometimes that it feels like in a lot of ways like like how do I put this like Sometimes in our society, like, women aren't always treated as equals. And so I love to see examples of, like, healthy relationships where both people, like, <laughs> like n- where neither person is being oppressed by the other, you know? Um, so, yeah, I love that. And um, I guess, like, another thing that I think is, like, really cool about Spike Cohen is I remember like, when he was campaigning for VP, like, he would, like, he would stop and, like, like, he stopped, like, all over the country. Like, he wasn't just, like, only going to, like, a few select major big areas. Like, he went, like, all over the place. Like, and even though it's, like, the Libertarian Party is not exactly known for winning elections, so... He, like, he knew, like, he knew that it's, like, it's, I'm pretty sure he knew that he probably wasn't gonna win. It's, like, he still took the time to go out and, like, go everywhere, try and, like, like, to try and hear the issues that normal Americans were facing. Like, it felt like he genuinely cared about issues, and even if he felt like he didn't necessarily, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I feel like he is realistic about, like, the fact that he might not be able to change everything, but he's still going to try and find ways to make the world a better place, even, like, even if it's small ways. Like, he still is willing to try and improve people's lives. Like, he, like, it feels like he genuinely cares about that instead of just, like, I don't know, like, I feel like um, a lot of times, like, people who decide to run for office, like, they do it, like, um, what's the word, like, oftentimes it feels like, oh, they're mostly in it for themselves or whatever, but it's like, okay, I actually see him, like, doing things because he genuinely cares about them, even if they don't benefit him himself. So, like, I just, I love that, like, how he's willing, like, it just feels like he's, like, genuinely cares about trying to make the world better, even if he, even if he doesn't always succeed, like, he has the genuine drive to go out there and get things, like, try and do things, even if he fails, like, I love that, I wish that there was more of that in, like, society, of people trying things because they genuinely believe in them, even if they're not necessarily going to succeed, 
Like, that's something that I just, I really admire about Spike Cohen. And I wish that, like, that was more, like, omnipresent in the world at large. Like, so yeah, I just, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I thought were awesome about him. Like, yeah, have a great day.